Hi you guys, I'm back today with a video and you're gonna see this eye look twice, but this video has nothing to do with this eye look, so you'll just have to hold on for one more day. I'm on one right now. I haven't done my makeup in like over a week almost, and so um, just so you guys know, I'll talk about it in the next video, but I will briefly talk about it here. My son was in the ER, and this week in general has just been really rough, so I am sorry I have not posted anything. I've been not very active on Instagram either just because it's been a rough one. I was just really not in the headspace to be doing this this week, to be really honest with you guys, but I am today. I'm very excited to be here today. Dearly beloved, I'm very glad that we have gathered here today because today... We're going to be going in deep with some swatches from Cleona Cosmetics. Now, I know this is like crazy to me that I'm doing this one first. I have not done my big huge container of like their very special like stained glass collection and various other beautiful multi-chrome shades. However, they did just recently re-release a lot of their round panned eyeshadows and I picked up a bunch. <laughs> then I also had a bundle recently that I picked up. It was their charity bundle and... I'm telling you what, you guys, I like Cleona Cosmetics anyway. I feel like the girls that run it are just some of the nicest people that I've talked to. I'm holding this off to the side very awkwardly. <laughs> um, they are. They're so nice. Their customer service is really good. Their shipping is really good. Their expectations. I appreciate a brand that is always forthright with you. Thank you for being honest with us. We like to have expectations that are set and communicated. I've seen a few brands that don't do that, and it's very frustrating. Cleona is not one of those brands. They had this charity bundle, and I think both of the causes that they were actually helping out were incredible. And if you go to their Instagram and you look at their charity bundle, it will actually give you all of the information about that. Now, all of the proceeds from that one actually went to the two charities. And to me, that just speaks volumes. And they did another charity bundle last year, and I did not get it. And I, it actually makes me very, very sad. And it was because all of Australia was on fire, and they donated all. I think it was Austra I think that's what this donation was. It's been a hot minute. 2020 sucked in general, so it was really hard to keep track of all of the things that went wrong. But I'm pretty sure the charity that they benefited that round was actually for the fires that were happening in Australia. So with that being said, it really means a lot to me as a consumer to see a brand that is reaching out to others and trying to help them. And to me, it really means a lot to have my dollars go a little bit further like I'm getting something I enjoy and then they're turning around and doing something really nice for somebody else which it really makes me want to continue to see this brand succeed and grow and just be all that they can be okay things just got strange but really they deserve it and I wish them all the very best so with that being said I am going to be swatching every single one of these little babies in here so I have 25 shades here I am going to swatch every one of these for you I am very excited to swatch every one of these for you but this look that I'm wearing right now has nothing to do with this I'm really sorry I really wanted to have it happen but this week was just it, it got way away from me so I am really sorry I will be doing a look with at least some of these in the future and I really want to swatch all the rest of my Cleona shades for you guys but for now I'm gonna go ahead and share these with you. Now, the price on these kind of ranges anywhere, I think, from like okay, five and a half dollars USD to like seven and a half dollars USD. I'm pretty sure. Versions are always kind of changing to some degree. But that's just a roundabout so you guys have an idea of what to expect when you go onto their website. You can't actually change it from the Canadian dollar to wherever you're from. I think they ship quite a few places, but I'm just talking about United States. You can switch it to USD and we are happy for that, I have to say. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of these for you guys and I'll come back at the very end for my final thoughts. All right, you guys, the very first shade in the charity bundle is called Shani or Shani. I think Shani. <laughs> wow, that shade is beautiful. So this is definitely a brown, but it almost has like an olive base to it. And, or it's, or it's an olive that has a brown base. And the actual texture that's in it is so beautiful. Hopefully that is showing accurately to you guys. A Brit Brit. And to me, this is a very special shade. This has like a gray brownish base and it goes kind of a purple red. And there's like gold glitters. It's, it's really beautiful. It's very special. Next shade is called Nick. And this is also a little bit shifty as well. It's purple, but it's almost like a gray-based purple. Very interesting as well. The next shade is called Shell. Only really a purple, but it does have some pink. And it almost has a slight hint of blue to it as well. 
slight, very slight. Next sheet is called Linny. This shade is gorgeous. It is one of the most foiled looking shades I've ever seen. It is like a peachy pink that has beautiful glittery reflex in it. It is so stunning. The next shade is called Mags. And this is like an orangey gold shade. And every time I hear the name Mags, I think of Hunger Games. <laughs> Last shade in this bundle is called Cookie. And I have literally wanted to swatch that shade since the moment it arrived at my house. This is an orange that goes kind of gold and pink and it is so pretty. I swear I even saw purple in it when I was taking pictures, but I'm not seeing that currently, but it is, it is beautiful nonetheless. This bundle was a great bundle and not just because it's beautiful, but because it was for a good cause. And I just really love that Cleona does this. I think it's a great outreach and it really shows a lot about the company that they are. What it looks like in low light. Okay, so working into the circle pans that were already existing, this is the shade Dahlia. And that is a gorgeous orangish gold, but it also has a little, a hint of green to it too in the right light. The next shade is called Pink Sugar. And this is a really beautiful pink that has a little bit of orange to it as well. It is gorgeous. Called Prophecy. And this is a beautiful pinky gold shade. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Pinks and go to greens. This is the shade Spruce. Well, blue. Blue-green. And that is a beautiful aqua shade. Wow. No drift. Really beautiful light blue with a slight bit of like aqua and purpley pink. It is gorgeous. Bad pronunciation. This is aqua vitae. I feel like that part on Mad TV where it was like lowered expectations. Bad pronunciations. This is a blue to yellow gold. It is so beautiful. It's called Fog. And this is definitely a deeper blue with a gold shift. Oh, and it is just, it's gorgeous. It almost, almost makes it look kind of like a greenish shade, but it's not. Aqua Fortis. I'm gonna swatch that weird. And that's like a cerulean electric blue with a gold shift as well. The last shade in this grouping is called Wormwood. Oh. That shade is gorgeous and it's definitely in the realm of one of my favorites. Um, so this is like a maroon to blue, purple, kind of aqua green as well. This is like the perfect peacock shade and I am about this life. This is the first nine shades. Here they are in low light. All right, so the next one is called Toadstool.
So you guys are seeing mostly a reddish, brownish, maroonish type of shade, but it is also very green and gold. This is such a fun color. I can't wait to show you in other lights. Called Shroom. I put them with the greens, but that's where they turn. So this is like a bluish purple frosty maroon that goes green and it is so beautiful. It is called Yukon, which just made me think of Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> if you know what that's from, holler at your girl. Might be a little early of the year to be talking about it. This is a gorgeous olive green with a gold flip to it. It is stunning. Next shade is called Rune. Okay, so this is more of a gray tone green olive and this is more of a gold tone green olive. It's definitely like an, an old green gold. Aha. It's called Elixir. Oh, that's gorgeous. And that is a silvery gold shade. Oh, it is so beautiful. Sometimes I've said beautiful into a drinking game. <laughs> Get your bottles ready. It is called Filigree. Like purple toned silver it has a slight, I mean a tiny bit of blue to it. The next shade is called Arcana. And that's a beautiful, sorry, my cat is like digging in a chair right now. Um, that's a beautiful pink that has like a maroonish base with a blue purple type of shift. It is beautiful. It is called Hex. And that is a beautiful purple that has a gold flip. Ah, so gorgeous. The last shade in this bunch is called Crystalline. And that is a lovely purple that goes blue. I just really like all of these shades. Every single one of them are special to me. I don't know, I had to sing talk that. <laughs> but this is the last of the round shades I have from Cleona. All right, you guys, this is all of them in low light. I really wish I could catch a better flip in that very first shade because it is actually very green. And all you guys are seeing is like, the reddish kind of shade. Well, when I turn a little bit, you can see it, but not as much as I would like. All right, you guys. So seriously, was that not the best time? Like I'm having, like, I, I love swatching stuff. So for me, I'm like in a super good mood. Every time I touch pigment to my skin, I'm like, yes, it's going to be a good day. But I want to talk about the textures of these with you guys a little bit. So for the most part, the majority of the shades are kind of like a flaky, but easy to apply texture. And then some of them are kind of a flaky and drier texture. Now I did not use any kind of, I've actually had a lot of people ask this and I feel like I've covered it, but I, maybe I haven't. And, and my memory kind of sucks sometimes. So <laughs> I may not have, I don't use anything on my arm when I swatch. It is my bare arm. I don't use any lotion. I don't like, I'm dry. Like your girl dry right now. I don't use any kind of binders or primers or anything like that. I, I want you guys to see just how it performs like without anything else. And so a few of those are like that, but oh my goodness gracious, these all worked just Mm, they were all really, really good. And then a lot of them were duochromes, and then even a few of them were multi-chromes, in my opinion. 
I'm just, I am astonished by them. I think that Cleona does a fantastic job. Again, their customer service is, is truly some of the very best out there. They are very kind. They seem to be a company with a heart. I love that. And their packaging is really good. Like, they package a thing. I have to get scissors. I have to cut everything open. I have to, like, pry the remains apart. <laughs> okay, I'm getting dramatic. I'm sorry. But, but really, they do a good job. So, I definitely think if any of these colors speak to you, they're definitely worth picking up. They just, oof, I'm telling you, you will not be let down. They will be a great addition to your collection or for me to my family. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of my family. You are definitely invited to Christmas. Ah, you're gonna shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> In any case, I really love them. It was so much fun to even swatch these. I've been like really wanting to use them for a hot second. Even more, I really want to swatch some of their stained glass collection for you guys. I'm, I've done some swatches on my Instagram, but I've not done full out swatches yet. And I'm going to, it's going to happen. I just feel like I'm super behind on everything, and I don't know if you're going to make it watching to this point, but there is one person, and they have been nothing but kind and patient with me. I really wanted to see the Goddess Nem palette from Cara Beauty compared to the JSE Cremated palette, and I feel awful because I just want to be able to do that for them. I don't know if I can get a video out on it, I'm, and this is me being honest, because if you could see the amount of things that I have waiting to be reviewed, you would be like, oh my goodness, this is kind of intimidating. However, I really do want to get swatches up. I am kind of considering doing it for a Flashback Friday, although it is not technically a very old palette, but the JSC palette is kind of a little bit older now, but I know not a lot of people like JSC. However, this would be an opportunity <laughs> to hopefully find some dupes for it in a much more affordable way as well. A brand that I personally really like and have had good experiences from. So in any case, with that being said, I am so sorry. I, pr I promise I haven't forgotten about you. Every time I see a comment from you, I, I instantly feel like sick to my stomach. I have been so far behind all of my filming. It's not funny. It like, I threw out my back, like straight out threw out my back. I was down. I was down for the count. It was very bad. And then, and then I had a period that was really insane. And I'm sorry, that's probably TMI, but it was crazy. I have not had a period like that since I was a teenager. I think it's because I went from like continuous birth control to now I'm actually like doing a normal cycle and I felt like crap. And then immediately from that, my son was in the ER and then I had some other family stuff. So it has just been like thing after thing after thing after thing and what I kind of thought I'd be able to get back to I have not had a chance to so I'm so sorry please bear with me if you've watched this just know I'm thinking of you you're in my heart that sounds awful no really you are I think about it a lot actually so I hope that I hope that maybe you guys will be on board for a flashback Friday using that what do you guys think don't hate me. In any case, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.